Vegan YouTubers quitting vegan diet and I have too. And what I first want to say, sorry about the poor lighting, but I can't do anything about it at the moment. I wanted to film at a specific location, but I can't due to some specific reasons. So I'm just having to make a do. So yeah, I want to be completely transparent with you as I always am on this YouTube channel. And yeah, I have quit my high carb vegan diet that I have been eating for around the last five years and around two years of the total of those five years was on a high carbohydrate, low fat, low protein, raw vegan diet. And this is something that helped to give me the most optimal state of health within my mind and body holistically. It helped me heal all of my health issues mentally and physically. And it just helped me feel the best every single day in every single way. So I got some really profound benefits from it. But as we have seen in the last six months to a year, so many other high profile vegan YouTubers such as Tim Sheaf, Vegetable Police, Bobby from Bobby's Perspective, Bonnie, Rebecca, and so many other big high level influential vegan YouTubers have also ended up quitting their diet for a variety of different reasons. And what has happened since so many of these types of people have come out about not thriving on a vegan diet and then switching to a other type of diet that is a non-vegan diet, that a lot of people watching them have also not been thriving on a vegan diet as well. So because they're very influential people, people start to copy what they are doing and start to try out the different dietary changes that they have made so they can experiment themselves and see how they're feeling from it. And what I first off want to state is I have not switched my diet due to any social media influencer out there in the world. Because just because someone else is doing something doesn't mean that I'm going to do it. I'm only going to do something if I feel naturally drawn to do it. And the reason why I am doing this dietary switch, which I'm not going to actually share with you in this video what diet that I've switched to, because I first want to experiment with it extensively for around 30 days. And after 30 days, I will be giving you a 30 day update video of telling you about my whole journey and experience with the new diets that I'm trying out that I've never tried in my whole entire life. So I am very excited to experiment with this new diet and I just love to experiment. I have over the last six months looked into this diet many different times and I've been so intrigued by it. And I am someone that likes to test out loads of different things. And then through my own experience, I get to share with you my positive or negative experience of whatever I've been doing. So then I can make people aware of something that maybe could work for them and improve their health and their life in positive ways or not. So it'd be very interesting to see how this diet affects me. Do you think whatever diet is that you're not going to find out until about 30 days time from now, is it going to have a negative effect on me or do you think I'm going to have a positive effect? And maybe you can share some thoughts as to some other reasons why I may have switched up my diet because I'm not going to go into all the full reasons. I've explained some to you, but you will find out in a video in about a month's time. So definitely leave your thoughts down below in the comments section on what I have just mentioned. And what I can say is I have been trying this new diet out for around five to six days and it has got me to a place of having to change my whole belief systems because so many of the foods that I am now eating I thought in the past for the last five years on a high carb raw vegan diet and lifestyle that they're really unhealthy foods that have a very negative impact on you and if someone had told me I'd be eating the foods that I am now I would have said no I would never be eating those foods it's absolutely crazy and for me to switch from a raw vegan diet and eat that for around two years and then go to a high carbohydrate vegan diet I would have told you when I was a raw vegan I would never make that switch but if I had gone from a raw vegan diet to the diet I'm eating now, it's such a bigger, drastic change with the diet. And so far, what I would say is, I have been making quite a lot of mistakes early on because this is a diet that I don't have much knowledge on or experience. I had been aware of it in the past, but I never dove deep into it. And now I'm spending so many hours a day researching this diet as much as possible trying out different things and making mistakes and then correcting my mistakes. There is some ups and downs with it. So there is this learning curve, but that's all good because I am someone that loves to always grow and evolve and learn new things because it makes me a better person and it helps me 
to have more information to share with you through my YouTube channel on the videos that I make on this channel. And what I can say so far is I have noticed some significant positive effects from eating this way. And so far I wouldn't say there's any real negative effects whatsoever. But I am definitely noticing that I'm getting into a deeper fasting state with daily intermittent fasting. Now due to this, I'm definitely getting way more benefits and an increased level, you could say, of autophagy because I'm definitely getting into a state of autophagy way earlier in the fasting window. Which if you don't know about this, this is self-cannibalism within the body. And it eats up indigestible proteins, mitochondria, ATP cells, all these other things that may not be functioning so optimally in the body and it eats them up and then creates new ones within the body. And this is one of the best things to give you the most optimal state of health within your mind and body holistically and maximize your longevity as well. Which health is my number one priority and maximizing my longevity. So I will continue on this path and you can try and guess which type of diet that I'm on. You can leave it down below in the comment section. Maybe you'll guess it. And what I say is, if you're someone that's trying to work out what diet I'm eating, all of my Instagram posts with photos that will be coming up in the next month will be all old photos. So you will not be able to guess through any of my Instagram posts in the next 30 days. But maybe there's some other ways that you can find out what diet that I'm eating. And people that are close to me, I am sharing with them what I am doing with my diet. But even if you find out who I've told, they're not necessarily go and tell you. They will keep it as a secret. And one last thing I want to mention is with the diet that I'm eating, it just actually makes my life way more simple because I have way, way, way less food choices to make, around 90% less food choices than I had before when, a high, well, when I was on a high carbohydrate vegan diet. And it's actually making me eat a way more healthier diet as well. Because I have been for quite some time on my daily intermittent fasting, high carbohydrate vegan diet, eating a lot of processed vegan junk food, which I am very aware it is not the most optimal food to give me the best health, hormone production and sleep and other various benefits that I personally want so I can feel the best every single day in my human body and in this amazing human experience so I can live life to the full and just be the best version of myself possible. So that's it for this video. If you have any questions on anything that I shared with you today, in this video, leave them down below and I get back as soon as possible. If you like the video, give us a thumbs up. If you don't, give us a thumbs down and please share this video with anyone else that you think wants to hear about what I've shared with you today in this video and in relation to me no longer being on a high carbohydrate vegan diet that I've been on for around the last five years. And if you haven't already, click the subscribe button down below to receive a lot more videos from me on a regular basis where I'm talking about my own journey with many different things in my everyday life and lifestyle. Also, I have many videos on calisthenics, weight loss, intermittent fasting, water fasting, dry fasting, what I eat, and what I do in day videos. But what I would say is with the what I eat and what I do in the day videos, you're not gonna see any within the next 30 days, but I will make a variety of different ones that I will post after that time length. So you can stay tuned for them in the future. And I also have many other different videos as well. And many other videos that will teach you the right information to go in direction, to gain and maintain the body that you desire, the fitness levels and the energy levels as well like I've managed to and many other people that have followed my information consistently over time to get to those results and sustain them long term. So if those sound good to you and you'd like to be notified of those videos so you can learn the right information to get those benefits that I've mentioned, make sure you click the subscribe button down below and you click the bell notification button next to the subscribe button. Otherwise YouTube will not notify you of when new videos are uploaded and I have new ones coming almost every single day. So as always, stay fit stay energetic and go and get those gains. Peace.